Let us welcome the second speaker. The second speaker is Mr. Takeru Nishimura. His speech title is, Yes, When It Comes to Magic. Yes, When It Comes to Magic. So Mr. Nishimura, please come up to the stage. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies, and honorable judges, questioners, and all organizers. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It all started when I was a second year high school student. I was in a boys' school for straight six years from junior high. In the biggest event, for us boys was about to be held. School festival. Our only real chance to talk with girls in other schools legally. However, there was one huge problem for me. I didn't know how to talk with girls. It was harder than speaking Greek. I was able to make simple conversations, but it was hard to continue them. However, those worries were blown away by one solution. What's that? Magic. I performed magic and was able to talk with girls fluently and succeeded in exchanging contacts with them. Maybe quite a few people have difficulties to continue the communication for the first meeting. So today, I'm here to suggest a new communication tool, magic. Ridiculous. You might think so right now, but I'm sure this speech will change that mind into using them for the first step to make a closer or new relationships, not only with other genders, but also with people, regardless of nationality, race, or age. So, first things first, why was I able to talk with girls fluently by performing magic? Let me tell you what it's all about. The keyword is wow factor. When you see a magic trick, I'm sure you'll be intrigued, surprised, or excited. This is the point. Curiosity and excitement open humans' heart and turn it into a positive impression. And these feelings can well up from the wow factor that you can get by watching magic. What I want to say here is that performing magic can create an inflatable atmosphere psychologically. You can use them as an icebreaker. Then, why do we have trouble continuing the communication for the first meeting? Isn't that because we don't know what to talk about? Of course, that's totally true because everyone has different character and different thoughts, and that makes us afraid if he or she will have an interest on our talk. After you're greeted and introduce each other, maybe you will be like, oh, what should I talk next? I have to say something, oh my gosh. You become panic. Well, I do, but seriously, what would you do in this case? How can we break this awkward situation? Hmm, the weather is fine. Of course it is, so what? No, let's try showing magic. When it comes to magic, it will be the common topic to talk about because it's a thing to appeal to someone's emotions, which everyone has in common. I'm practicing magic lately. Can I show you some? There you go. In this point, performing magic and making that the topic will be the trigger for you to communicate with someone. What is more, magic is a universal language. Last year, I had a chance to talk with an Israeli family. 
I was making an interview about their stay in Japan. A parent kindly answered our question, but I realized that the children were just standing still with bored faces like this. Actually, they could not speak English or Japanese. Of course, I don't speak Hebrew, but after I showed them some magic, I was able to see smiles on their faces and we even became friends. Like this, magic can sweep away the national border. I found out that we can communicate without a common language. Isn't this amazing? But still, you might think that performing magic is difficult. Actually, that's half right and half wrong. Well, some magic requires high technique, which need hard practice, but there are also many tricks that you can learn easily. For that, I recommend playing cards. Card magic are quite simple. There are many tricks that once you learn, you'll be able to do easily. Moreover, you can find them from YouTube like I always do. Can you really surprise people with simple things like that? Yes, you surely can. It took me only two days to mess with these kind of things. Oh, please laugh if I didn't success. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love this reaction. <laughs> Needless to say, cards are portable, so you can use them anywhere, anytime you want. But maybe still, there's people who think that performing magic won't be enough to communicate with someone. So then, let me suggest one more thing for those people. Actually, my story continues with the Israeli family. After I showed them some magic, I taught how I performed them. They seemed happy to learn them, and surprisingly, we were communicating in different languages that we don't understand. What I want to suggest for the next step is to share the tricks. It might be inappropriate for professional magicians, but I recommend this in the case of making communication because just showing magic might end up for a short conversation. I'm sure people wouldn't want to know the trick, so taking one further step, sharing can create more communication. There was a look of happiness in everyone's faces until we said goodbye. For the waiting time at restaurants when you have nothing to talk about. For an introduction when you want to express a personality. For foreigners you want to get along with. For a person you have a bit of a crush on. Any situation will do. It can make a comfortable atmosphere to communicate. It's a universal language that men and women of all ages can understand. It can open someone's heart and break the ice. Yes, when it comes to magic. Is there any reason you know how to try? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to use a new communication tool, magic. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nishimura. Now we have a question and answer session. Mr. Hayashi, please. All right, thank you, Tagera. Thank you. Your speech is magically wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Well, in the speech, you use the particular word, wow factor. Wow factor, the, yes. Would you please uh, more deeply explain yes. how, so, mm -hmm. how wow factor affects and when it comes to uh, doing business in the lectures, mm -hmm. you know, business presentation, mm -hmm. Uh, how the wow factor affects? Affect in what situations? Uh, any any situations. Any situations. So, um, the reason why I said wow factor is because I think there's different kinds in 
from astonishment. You know, like when you see a ghost, you'll be surprised, but it's not a wow factor. I think wow factor is a positive image and have curiosity to the opponent or in my speech, I'm saying that the break the awkward atmosphere and feel e at ease with the opponent. Very good. Yeah, I think the wow factor can yeah, break that awkward situation. So we are tense situation in business. Yes. When you use uh, some kind of trick, yes. then the atmosphere will break yes, will. and we're yes. very comfortable. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, any other magic you can teach us? Yes, okay. <laughs> Of course, yes, of course. Hmm. Okay, so there's no mic. So let me oh, use. Oh, take care of it, just a moment. I can use this Thank smartphone. You, oh, you. that one? I got you. Oh, okay, then. Oh, then can I use your smartphone over there? What? Yes, that smartphone. Smart. Is it okay? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so this is your smartphone. And first, I take my. Just like this, and this is a really simple one that anyone can do right now. Now, wow well factor, uh -huh. right? Okay. Yes. So if I let go of my hand, it's gonna drop. But first, I make sure that nothing will come up from my arms and hold here. And, but if I imagine it, my hand can be a magnet. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Well, Isn't it's a very expensive uh, smartphone, so don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it doesn't break. Really? <laughs> and I have a lot more magic, but in this distance, it's really limited. So, and afterwards, maybe if we have time, I can show you more. Okay. Thank yes. you very much. Yes. Before you forget, just give it back to me, okay? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So magic is a one way to approach the good communication, right? Yes. So wow factor is also one way to good, you know, human beings communication, yes. right? So any other communication tool you mentioned in the last paragraph, a new communication tool. Yes. Magic. Can you think of any other? Any others? For the for saying yes, right mm. others well but ultimately I think it can be anything that you are good at or something like that and I think those can um, make your feeling really yes. positive okay to talk with our opponent okay. to be aggressive yes so verbalizing mm, yes you know, active parts, yes. actions. Yeah, dance is maybe okay, or music, but yeah, I think magic is the most effective thing, so that is why I chose this topic. Okay. Yes. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hayashi and Mr. Nishimura. Please go back to your seats.